This clip is brought to you by Mark Bell Slingshot. This gear is made for lifters by lifters. Enjoy this clip. Let me ask you a quick question. Um, back back to the nuts thing. You don't really, st I'm guessing you don't snack much, right? No, I actually really try to not snack at all. Yeah. Um, and, and mainly because with this way of eating, you get hungry and I'll eat a pound, pound and a half ribeye. A meal. A meal. Yeah. I don't need an hour. How's three that hours. for a first date? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> like well, we orders like a big ass prime rib and just like what? You well, and they inevitably the always <laughs> want to put it in front of the guy, and yeah. I go, uh, uh, <laughs> come, come to mama. <laughs> you know, and I asked you that because one thing is when people think about like nuts, certain types of fruits, etc. A lot of people end up having finger food throughout the day. Like you were mentioning, you're preparing something for your kids. You have these strawberries. You're just picking at it and eating. And for most people, that is a big habit that they need to get rid of. The habit of just randomly snacking on little things. Because I admit, if I have nuts around, I will be snacking on them constantly. Well, we That's talk, why I don't. We talk often about steps. You know, how many steps are you taking in a day? And that can be important. But imagine if you just cut back on your snacking. Or don't snack at all. Like, yeah. like if yeah, you cut if, back on if it. You, and, if you got rid of it, yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, it would be incredible. And, and those nuts or any type of snack add up to a lot of calories for a lot of mm -hmm. people. And if that habit was literally cut, that kind of gets rid of the foods that you typically snack on, but you focus on eating meals like you are, a lot of people would be in a better place. Right, and I think also it's pretty important to remember too that our bodies weren't intended to keep eating five, six meals a day. I mean, we went out for the hunt, you got the animal, you dragged it back to the village, <laughs> And you feast on it, and you might not eat for a day or two. And I'm not saying that I'm promoting extended fasting, but I'm just saying that this whole snacking thing throughout the day is just not normal to have our digestive system kind of constantly working. And um, yeah, and it, it's 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 kind of a wonderful thing too to eat your meals and then not feel like you're you're driven to keep going for the rest of the day and have to have a snack. Now, I will say I do love pork rinds. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are good. <laughs> and, yeah. and that is an, a, that is an approved carnivore snack. So um, I have some pork rinds for you then. Yeah, yeah, I hope they're pork and good rinds. They are, yeah. I got <laughs> the uh, salted butter one and uh, like the, I forget the other one, sour cream one or whatever. I had the yeah. super spicy one the other day. Mm. Owen couldn't handle it. Ryan started sweating. I didn't I try it. that one yet. It's I do want to try. I think they have a dill pickle one though too. They have a, like a... <laughs> <laughs> a uh, salt vinegar one. Yes. Oh, that one's man. unbelievable. And the uh, salted butter really kind of reminds me of popcorn. It for, is. It's a legit <laughs> replacement for popcorn. I think it, it is. Pork and good. I'm going to give you my address, yo. I, like this, this stuff is too. It's pork and good. <laughs> it is. It's it is. It's it, actually really good. So, Pat Roger family, I hope you enjoyed this clip. We are on Discord and Reddit. We're trying to talk to you guys and build a community down there. So the links are in the bio. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, share this out with people so you can share the wealth of health. As cheesy as that fucking sounds. Peace.